Hi guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this machine right here that I've been using since last one month and this machine is MacBook Pro M4 and in this machine I'm going to test out how this machine performs with 4K clips in Premiere Pro as well as After Effects so basically I'm going to do some 3D tracking in the footage in, the, in, in After Effects and uh, adding some 3D text in Cinema 4D render and also try to add some text animation as well so that you can have an idea how it performs with 4K clips on After Effects uh, since I'm a real estate video editor so I'm gonna try something out of my projects to help you get a better idea of this of the performance of this machine apart from that I'm also gonna show you how is the rendering speed after the edit is done in After Effects also a complete video in Premiere Pro after color grading and speed ramps and a couple of animations as well so let's get started After Effects and Premiere Pro real quick so here I am let's take one project this project has already been done. I mean, the work has already been done in this project, but I'm gonna still show you how how is the performance. So let's just open up this 147 Carry Vistar project and yeah. Okay, so this is the project that I have finished working recently. So I'm gonna show you. Let me just mute the audio because I might get copyright in, 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 in the video. So here we go. So you can see this effect has been created by After Effects. Okay, so these are 4K clips plus it has a lot of animations. So don't expect the timeline to be you know running very smoothly you always have to render it out as you can see there's a little bit lag there's a not little bit i i would say there's a lot of lag here see so i'm gonna render it out here real quick So these all clips are basically 4K clips and uh, the preview settings as you can see I am I am I have set it to full resolution. Okay, so this is one effect that I've created using After Effects. As soon as the camera pans down, the other side becomes dark and the the property the comes into focus. So in the in the next clip, as you can see, this clip. This has a 3D text added with, with camera tracking effect. Plus I have an address icon in the, in the red color as you can see. Okay, so let's just try to recreate this. I'm going to show you how to recreate this. Okay, so here is the duplicate clip. I right click on it. I go to replace with After Effects composition. And yeah, I got this into into my After Effects. So then I go to the audio or go to the effect controls and remove the warp stabilizer. I got on need it here. So this is our clip and I'm gonna click on track camera. So this clip is basically um, five seconds long. Okay, this is 5 seconds long clip and I'm going to click on track camera so you can see how long it takes to track it. Track it. So there are basically 289 frames and this is the speed as you can see.
Okay, so our tracking being done. So now, as you can see, we've got our track points. Now I'm going to add the text just before the property, like in this in this position. Okay, so I'm going to take a point right here. Let's take this point. Okay, I'm going to right click and add text and camera. In the text, I'm going to put the address like 147 and Lincoln Road, something like this. Okay, so this is our text, and I'm going to put make the text a little smaller like this. Take out the scale and bring the scale down to something around 12,000. Okay, so Here's our text. Let me just adjust it. The X and Y, okay. Uh, something like this and something like this. Okay, so this is our text in the 3D plane. So as you can see, this is our text that has been tracked. Now I'm gonna convert this text to 3D text. Go over here and go to material options. No, sorry, go to geometry options in the renderer to Cinema 4D and click on OK. So now we are in the Cinema 4D renderer and now I'm gonna now I'm going to bring the extrusion depth a little bit up so we can have this 3D effect like this. Okay, so just a little bit, yeah, this is fine. Now I'm gonna add a light over over here and new object light. Okay, I'm gonna we even take this pot. So here is the light. I need to adjust the light, so let's adjust it. Bring it a little back and Right over here, this is our text. Bring it back where it was. Okay, so here is the final composition that that came out like this, as you can see. So let's play it out. If you play it on normally and the resolution is set to half, if you set it to auto, or you can set it to quarter, okay? So then this is the speed and this is not buttery smooth. This is there is a little bit of lag. And if you want to do it in full resolution, then there's a lot of lag you you have to face it. So so yeah, like this. This so this is the composition that's been done with the 3D text and a light. Okay, now let's try to render it out. Test render. Okay, now let's render. This is a 4K render. So as you can see, this is the kind of render speed you're gonna get. I would say that this machine is not buttery smooth, as no machine in the world is buttery smooth with After Effects and uh, animation kind of things, but it's really really fast as compared to my previous machine that I've been working and I feel absolutely no problem working in this machine. So this is our test render that we've done recently. So this is it, okay? So this is how this machine performs with After Effects tracking and such kind of stuffs. So now let's, I'll show you some other things that I've done in some other projects like this one, okay? So this project right here is, uh, I think the files are missing here. I need to find out the files. 
Okay, so that's it in this video. And if I show you the Premier Pro timeline, how it plays without any timeline render. Okay, so now my timeline is not rendered. It's in the normal state. And we are viewing it in a full resolution. So let's play it out and check out how it performs without any timeline render. So you know the uh, the music is here, but I muted the music because of copyright issues. As you can see, there are a little bit of lags, but I think it's enough for me. I don't know. I mean, that doesn't bother me too much. So if I talk about the heating in my in this MacBook, I would say that has been quite heat up, but not a lot. But while rendering, if you are rendering heavy files or big events, then uh, this machine heats up, and you gotta maintain the temperature. So, so that's it in this video. If you want to know something else if you have any questions regarding macbook pro m4 pro or macbook's performance in any kind of software you can let me know i'll try to make a video